Perforations or holes in the Lisa or Monstera deliciosa is one of the most highly sought after commodities in the world, sort of. If you were to offer me the choice between a Rolex or an extra large deliciosa with an abundance of perforations in the leaves, then I'm taking the plant every time. So what dark arts do you need to perform to achieve such a feat? Well, it's not as hard as you might think. Firstly, it's important to understand what plant you actually have and what this means for perforation development. Now I've made a video all about this recently, but there are many varieties of Monstera plants out there and two of the most popular are the Borzigiana and the Deliciosa. The Borzigiana is the most common and is the one you can always find in your local Ikea, but unfortunately for us, it's also less willing to develop perforations. The Deliciosa, on the other hand, which is also referred to as the large form Monstera, is a much larger sprawling plant that will develop lots more fenestrations and perforations as it gets older and bigger. All this essentially means is that we need to get the conditions right especially for a borzajana to develop holes in the leaves. So what are those conditions? Well, there are three basic things we need to consider. Monsteras love sunlight. There's no getting away from this. A monstera that is kept three meters away from the nearest north facing window will not develop perforations in the leaves. This plant can even tolerate a few hours of direct sun every day so long as you acclimatize the plant to this over several weeks. Don't move your plant from the dark onto a south facing windowsill. The leaves will scorch and the plant will be very unhappy. I keep a borzigiana on my west facing windowsill so it gets about five hours of direct afternoon sun and it's starting to develop perforations in the latest leaf, success. If you don't have access to much natural light in your home, then you might want to supplement with a good grow light. Even if you do have good light, you may want to add a grow light to the mix to really give your plant a boost. Grow lights are fantastic because it allows us to control the amount of consistent usable light we give to our Monstera and they will respond by growing big and developing lots of fenestrations and perforations in the leaves. I use a Sansi 32 watt grow bulb plugged into my desk lamp for my plants and it's a fantastic bulb that chucks out an abundance of full spectrum light that my plants love. You can use Sheffield 15 at checkout for a 15% discount on all Sansi products on their website. Monsteras grow long stems that in the wild creep up surrounding trees to anchor themselves to access the natural light above them. We therefore don't want to prune this plant regularly. Doing so will halt the growth momentum and the new stems will revert back to their juvenile state with no perforations. Look at a stem on your monstera. I'm willing to bet you that the leaf nearest the soil line will have far less fenestrations and perforations than the newest leaf at the end of the stem. If we cut the tip off, it stops the stem from growing and a new juvenile stem will sprout lower down the plant. So we're essentially going back to square one. Monsteras develop perforations with age. The older a monstera is, the more perforations it will have. So to have a successful plant that your friends will be jealous of, you need to give it lots of time and lots of light. For a full guide on this wonderful plant, then do check out the video here.